Now joining me in studio to discuss the upcoming show, The Troop, CEO of Goodwill Theater, Naima Krajan. Hi, how are you today? I'm great. It's fabulous weather. How can you not be yes, great? Yes, I know. Just I agree. Wonderful. Yeah. I know. I want us to, to stay like this, but yeah. who knows? The weather guys, <laughs> maybe not so much. So first of all, tell me a little bit about the Goodwill Theater, and so you're the CEO of that. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we have the Goodwill Theater, and right now we have opened the Shore Family Firehouse stage, which is on the first floor of the Firehouse Building in Johnson City. And we bring in uh, professional artists that are touring. Mm -hmm. We also hire some of our local artists when they are professional. So um, it's a, a little different than producing a show normally. So that's what we do. We have comedy every month. Um, different kinds of comedy. We have jazz every month, and that's usually a New York State regional um, style of jazz, and, it, and that varies a great deal. Mm -hmm. um, this, we always have different kinds of music. We usually have a children's uh, show. We just had one of those. Um, and then, you know, we have various, sometimes a one-person show, and then something like the troupe that is coming in that um, we've had a long-standing relationship with Prospect Theater out of Manhattan. Mm -hmm. So they work on new work, and they come up here because they happen to really like the Southern Tier and they like the Southern Tier audiences because they give good feedback. So mm -hmm. while they're creating a new work, they get really good feedback from the community. Yeah. Yeah. Um, first of all, I love it up here too. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not a big city girl. Um, and also mm -hmm. we have so many arts around here and so much mm -hmm. talent. So I totally yes. understand why they would love coming mm -hmm. up here. So tell me a little more about how the troupe, you know, works and what it's all about. Because, you know, before I asked you a little more about it, because yes. it is uh -huh. kind of so different compared it to is. other things. So kind of tell me more about it. So um, this all started, um, they did a, a residency that we called Kindling. And so that was just forming an idea. We've worked with Cara and Pete, their award-winning composer and lyricist and director out of Manhattan. And we've worked with them before. They wanted to just look at this idea of a... Um, a traveling historical troupe like in the Elizabethan times. Mm -hmm. So they worked on that a summer ago and then this past summer they came back and they brought about 10 artists and they got through most of the first act really creating and, and fleshing it out. Now this time they've worked more on it and um, so they've got another 10 actors from New York. One of them is the same one that was in the original one. So it's really interesting. These people are learning the music during the day, mm -hmm. rehearsing it at night. And so what you will see is, is a musical in process, process you okay. know. And so it will be fully sung and it will be explained. And then afterwards they're going to ask for feedback uh, from the audience. There will be some Q&A. People just like, why are you doing this? Or this would be cool. Or I don't understand this part. That mm -hmm. kind of thing. And then afterwards we actually have a little you know, um, some food and drinks so that people can meet the artists. Okay. And these may be artists that you're going to see on Broadway in a couple years or maybe a year. Um, mm -hmm. Like one of the girls who worked this past summer, she's in Death Becomes Her right now. Okay. So that's why she's not back here this time, mm -hmm. you know, that's because awesome. she's got a Broadway gig, you know, good mm -hmm. for her. So it's exciting to see how work is created. Yeah. And, and we find that that's, you know, that's a really cool thing. And one of the reasons that we do what we do and bring in these touring acts and things like that is so we don't compete with all of the wonderful arts that we have here. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that, that we don't get in somebody's way. We don't want to cannibalize the mm -hmm. existing arts in our community. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, it's like, you know, a little networking, too, so those people can come and meet these people, mm -hmm. give their feedback from doing it for years. I love that. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, aside this, you know, you have some other things coming up as well. So yes, tell I mean, me our November those. is chock-a-block full. All right, so tell me about it. If, um, <laughs> If somebody isn't getting our postcards or hasn't gotten our information, they can contact our box office at 607-772-2404 okay. <laughs> and it's extension 301. You don't have to listen to, you know, me talking, saying okay. welcome to and all. <laughs> you, you know, just, to. just go straight to the meat, you <laughs> know. 301, yeah. Um, so, um, so coming up, we have Ralph Anthony and Chris Roach. Those are um, two male comedians, and that's November 16th. We also have um, Mason Warrington, and they're going to do the music of Duke Ellington. Okay. Uh, we work, they, they play with us two times a year, and they always like have somebody in particular that they are some composer or something that they're, they're focusing on, um, usually in the fall, and then in the spring they do whatever they want. They mm -hmm. just do a pastiche of, of the work that they like. We have the Longwood Jazz Project coming up November 18th. Our jazz programming is always on a Monday from at 7 o'clock. And it's all different kinds of jazz, so it's, it's various. So that's the one that's coming up. That's a quintet. 
Okay. And then we have the Bingham Tonics, which is an a cappella group from Binghamton University. This is going to be the third time they perform for us. So that's going to be November 23rd at 7 p.m. So we've got a really, really busy yes. November. But yes. the troupe is Friday night. So okay. I left them there, and they're singing through. Um, and Car <laughs> and Pete wrote that song this morning. I mean, I just think it's phenomenal. People can be that talented mm -hmm. and, you know, it's just so interesting. And then I just think it's cool that a musical that is created here in our community mm -hmm. moves on mm -hmm. to be, you know, the Hello Girls is being done at, um, you know, high schools and, and small theaters across the country, and it was written when they were here. Mm -hmm. I think it is true talent. You know, I did a bunch mm -hmm. of music in, like, high school and things, but to see people make, you know, career out of it mm -hmm. and still have, yeah. like, so many ideas, you know, I feel like yeah. maybe I could write a small children's book, not, like, <laughs> produce a whole play or right. something, you know? And, it's you know, daunting. Yeah, yes. no, it's crazy. It's really crazy. And I wanted to ask you, too, what kind of inspired you to start this and open this? Like, what's your background? Well, my, my, I'm an actress and a, and a singer. Okay. Um, originally from Manhattan. Um, I was there for seven years, and then an accident changed my life. So there okay. you go. So um, then I moved up here for love, which is a wonderful reason to join a community. And that was, boy, 35 years ago. Okay. So I did get involved in the arts in different aspects. Uh, but the Goodwill Theater Project came around around because there was this incredible theater that was going to fall down. Mm -hmm. So we started to stabilize that, but we also wanted to make sure that people came into Johnson City for the arts and we could prove that the whole project was feasible. Mm -hmm. So we started things in the, the Shore Family Firehouse stage in 2007, and uh, we've had 15% audience growth every single year. So, and we awesome. survived the pandemic, you yes. know. Yes, good uh, job. And we've, you know, we found what the Southern Tier likes. I mean, people really want comedy, mm -hmm. you know. And Everyone wants to laugh. Boy, yeah. especially <laughs> these days, you know. I mean, all through the pandemic, we were like, we gotta laugh, yeah. you know. Otherwise, we're gonna cry. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so, it's been really interesting. Um, Forging these relationships and meeting people mm -hmm. every January I go into Manhattan for four or five days and it's one show after another at this big conference and mm -hmm. from one person shows to two person shows to huge, you know, orchestras from other countries to, you know, comedy to, you know, uh, sad things to delving into issues. I mean, you see all sorts of things. You have to really take notes because you think you'll remember, but you don't. Yeah. And that's how I end up booking mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. coming season. Yeah, yeah. no, well, so it's I'm, very fun. Yeah, I'm glad you moved up here. It was so nice <laughs> to meet you. You got to come on all the time. Sure. I feel like we could I'll, sit here the whole I'll show. I'll come on every month and tell you what, what we're <laughs> all doing right, perfect. because Sounds we're very, yeah. we're, we do a lot. Yeah, and, no, um, it sounds And we like really it. like to, to, to serve the community and we mm -hmm. keep our prices low. Okay. On well, purpose. That's, that's good. That's yes. good. Well, thank you yeah. so much for coming on today. Thank you know, you. I wish you the best of luck and I hope you have fun this month. Thanks. And I'll see you next month. Or you sooner. got it. Okay. <laughs> for those of you who might have missed those details, the Shore Family Firehouse stage will be hosting the Troop Prospect Musicals on Friday, which is tomorrow at 7 p.m. This will be hosted at the Firehouse stage. For more information, you can visit firehousestage.org.